Today I've been working in the garage, getting all the Christmas stuff down, and uh, I am ready to film. It's gotten to a point to where most of it's cleaned up. I completely reorganized the pegboard. But yeah, we are today we are gonna unbox this uh, Makita brushless uh, impact driver. Now they do make multiple versions of this, and uh, this is the mid-range Cordura uh, hex impact driver. Now they have one more, two more powerful ones that they both have a select uh, button setting to where you can actually have the uh, certain speed and have it for screw as well. But this version does not. This version is just a variable trigger only. But this is this is the Black Friday slash holiday hundred dollar tool sale to where you get a three amp hour battery, a bag, a charger, and a tool with it. So uh, I had to hit this up since uh, the stock is actually getting really low. So we're going to open this up and see how this impact performs. Now one thing I want to do really quick is I want to open this up. This is my first time actually having uh, Makita bits, uh, an actual kit. And so I bought an, uh, in a previous video against uh, for the drill bit war, I bought just a couple of them in a little pack, but this is my first time having an actual kit. So let's open this up, get this out of the way. Now this kit was $24. What's this? Oh, it's just storage. I thought there was going to be a lot of bits in there, but it is not. And very good. We could take this plastic out. That's what I got with the kit. Perfect. Throw this away. And while I was there, I did get the half inch to a quarter inch uh, hex socket adapter. We are going to test this out as well in this video. Now, the difference between this and any other brands is this is actually, you're capable of having a little... You're capable of having a little turn, uh, a little give, a little flexibility in case if you, uh, so it's not straight. So we're gonna see how that actually performs. So if you compare it to the, the Milwaukee, as you can see, it's, uh, it's yeah, it is a half inch. So that's gonna be interesting to see. We are done with this. See, it's good to have a little. It's good to have a little uh, case full of tools right next to you in case you need it, so you don't go looking for it. All right, this is garbage. What we have here I will not be saving the box at all. Don't need it. Uh. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so the first thing you get in the box is you get the charger. Where is, there they are. The instructions and their catalog. So that's interesting, I gotta look over that catalog. Uh, you get, uh, a charger, which this is DC18SD. I do not know if this is a fast charger or not, but unfortunately with the Makita, you cannot hang uh, your charger on the wall. That's just how it comes. That, that's just how it comes. Now, I, just, I wish that they would, but you do have some nice rubber stops on the bottom, so when you put it on a flat surface. And that's that. All right, and then you get a bag and a belt clip. Now this bag is, there you go, is this the same one I got? Yeah, it's the same one I got. So there we go, get a nice bag. What's this? Oop, oop, that fell up. All right, and so you get, uh, 3 amp hour battery, 
with a cover, which I like that. I like having that cover on there. We're going to have to put this on charge immediately. Actually, let's put that on charge now. All right, so that is charging. And the last you get is the tool. Is that it in there? Yep, that's it. There we go. Look at that. That is nice. That is nice. All right, so this is model number uh, XD, XDT13. Uh, variable speed trigger only. A double LED light on the uh, underneath the collet. Uh, it, it goes to 0 to 3400 RPM and 0 to 3600 impacts per minute. Yeah, 1500 inch pounds of torque. So like I said, this is not their top model of their, of the quarter inch hex impact. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, we are going to let the battery charge up and we're going to test this out and see how it does. One thing I did forget to do. Let's, let's see how well these gloves perform putting on a small screw with these on. So before, yeah, see, I, I could grab that screw immediately. Much better. This thing's awesome. Alrighty, we are ready to go. And see with these, I could adjust the camera. Now we are. Right now we are going to try the Makita half inch to a quarter inch hex impact adapter. Can you just push it in? Yes, you can. I like it when the collet, you just push it in. You got to take it out like that though, but you are able to just to push this in. I'm curious on how that's going to act. And for this test, we are going to use Tech Life Impact Rated Sockets. Got my number 19. Perfect. See, as you can see, I made this more functional for me to, instead of me finding stuff, I have the stuff I normally use immediately. All right, that's interesting. That is interesting. So yeah, so you're able to, interesting, we're going to see how that acts under tension. We're going to find out, I'm curious. Alright, we are going to try two, two and a half inch lags first. No, actually, I completely forgot, sorry, 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 there we go. Yeah, these gloves are so much easier to use. 14 bucks at Home Depot, got them uh, two days ago. And yeah, so much easier to use for these videos because I could like so much better. All right, we are gonna try. We have four of them. We're gonna put four in. Time it. See how it does. Uh, no speed setting. Variable trigger only. All right. So ready. Time. We're going to put four in and then we're going to take uh, the four out all at once. But individually, we're going to put them in. All right, a little bit more. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Stay right here. I'm trying to do it on the same ring. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad, battery life is still full. Last one. Ready, go. That one barely missed uh, missed that one. 
All right, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna take these out all at once. I'm gonna go to the next one as soon as possible without wasting any time. At three bars, I wish it was a little bit brighter. All right, so ready, go. time not too shabby not too shabby at all they do i should have used the one that's in here my bad sorry about that they actually do have this bit we are gonna try out uh this a uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter i'm actually curious on how that works we're gonna test it out with four and a half inch lags so I, I'm not, I'm, I'm curious. I am curious. All right, so right there is good. Ready, go. Time. All right, I see how that works. All right, so. How this works is, right now it's like that, but as soon as, I mean, you got to do, for this you do have to make sure that the ball bearing is with the hole, because this actually locks it straight. Perfect. Uh, let's do uh, another one. Do it right here. Alright, so... Now it's locked. Ready? Go. Time. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like that. I like that feature that's that on that. We have to use this one for now on. Battery is at three bars still. Not sure if you can see that. Let's uh, take these out and see how long it takes. We're gonna take them out. Uh, we're gonna all time individually. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad. All right, one more. Ready. Go. That one was fast. I could tell that one was was that one was fast. <clears throat> All right, so this thing's actually extremely awesome. Now I'm glad I have it in my arsenal. So just a, uh, one more tool to do all uh, conduct all these tests with, and uh, and so yeah, this thing is uh. It's, it's extremely compact. Now, I do not know what the power is. And you can't really judge that until you do a versus video, which we will. We're, this is going to just be included with everything else. And so, yes. <clears throat> so, this has been the unboxing and demonstration of the Makita Brushless Quarter Inch Hex Impact Driver. Model number XDT13. Now, this was a $100 kit. We are going to do another $100 kit versus a $100 kit in the uh, very soon. And so, yes, that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in.